there was a point in your career where you started to consider retiring, right? And I think there was some there was something that Anthony Crawler, one of yeah, your other yeah, stable mates no, as well. This was as in the amateur days. Okay. You know, I am um, like I won the ABAs. Then the following year, I got to the final, and then the following year, I am. Um, I got beat off of somebody I never ever should have got beat by. I'm not going to mention his name because it's just disrespecting the guy. But I got beat off of him, and like it was like, pfft, how do you get beat off of him? And to be fair, he beat me. You know, he actually. He ne I never got robbed. You know, he won. Yeah. And uh, but I was going through a lot at home and family and that, and it just wasn't. It wasn't right. And uh, I ca I came to the gym that day to tell Joe, thanks a lot. Thanks for doing what you've done to me. I'm like, forget me so far, helping me where I've got, but I've had enough, I'm gonna pack in. And the first man I seen was Anthony. Yeah, Crawler, yeah. Uh, yeah, Anthony Crawler, yeah. And uh, he said, What's up, both? I said, I said, I've just had enough. I said, I'm uh, I'm gonna pack in now, mate. I said, I've just come to say see you to everyone. Yeah. And then uh, he says, Oh, Rolf, don't do that. He said, You've, you've, you've trained too hard and uh, you've come so far just to pack in now. He said, why don't you just give it a shot at being pro? Yeah. Just give it one more shot. He said, and if you don't like it, pack in then. He said, but you'll regret it the rest of your life if you don't. And it was just me and him in the gym. And it was it like, I don't even know if he can remember it, to be honest, but it sunk in. And I thought, right, you know what? I am going to give this a go. Yeah. I, I will have a go. And um, boxing is such a hard sport. Sometimes you need the arm around the shoulder other than the kick up the ass, you know, and it was the arm around the shoulder what made me feel, made me feel strong again, I thought, yeah. right, go on, yeah, I, I will give it a go, and uh, here I am now. Almost goes back to that team ref point we were talking team. about earlier as well. Strong team, yeah, yeah. No, you yeah. know, if I never had that strong team around me, I could be pulling a pint or, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know. Yeah, fighting outside nightclubs or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. know, roofer or something, I got nothing about, listen, I used to do a bit of roofing and joinery and whatever, you know, yeah, so yeah. I might be doing that now, I might be, you know, but I'm glad I'm not. Yeah, yeah. I had absolutely. a day's work a couple of days ago and it nearly killed me and I've said, right, that's enough of that, I'm going yeah. back to the gym. <laughs> With that said, something else as well, we touched on earlier, I wouldn't mind going back to. Um, one of the biggest talking points in world boxing at the moment is your direct cousin, Tyson Fury. Mm -hmm. Been through a lot. Um, he's at a point now where he's coming back, recently signed with MTK Global, and there's been some talk about him potentially fighting Tony Bellew. That's very interesting. Listen, Bellew wants the big money fights. You're going to get no bigger money than Tyson. You know, Tyson had two years out. He's the biggest, I don't know how to say this really, he's the biggest, people's wanting to see him in the yeah, comeback. People want to see him fight more than they want to see anybody fight, you know. Um, so, yeah, it'd be a good fight for Tony. Tony. Tony's going to get his paycheck, what he wants, but there's no way of winning it because... <laughs> He's fighting Tyson. He's fighting the best heavyweight in the world. Yeah. Possibly one of the best heavyweights been. You know, who else is six foot nine? Can move like a middleweight yeah. and punch like a freight train. You know, he just, you just, he's the dude. Must be in your DNA, right? <laughs> must be in the genes. Yeah, you know, yeah. We've got the same DNA. Why do you, you think know? Tony Belly's calling him out, though? I mean, he's a cruiserweight, really. We obviously had the fight with David Hay, and you that know, was just a one-off. But he, he, then he's look at look at the cruiserweights about. Right, the cruiserweight, is it USEC and all them, like the, the the machines. Yeah. And there's no money in it, right? The fellow who's going to win the uh, the cruiserweight competition, the Super Six, he's going to turn heavyweight as soon as he finishes this. You know, is it the uh, they call him like he's like another Lemonchenko? What do you think it'll be USEC or, or one of the others? Yeah, it's USEC, isn't yeah, it? He's that's the right, mover. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's going to win it. Yeah. So. He's gonna turn heavyweight. He's gonna he's gonna have a few fights heavyweight. He's, I, I think he's brilliant. That yeah. Usyk, I think AJ. I'm a big fan of AJ. But you know what? I think probably, he's a he, probably, he does AJ. I I think he does AJ. So mm. I don't know where we're going. We're, we're <laughs> sort of <got> lost. <laughs> no, I was talking about Tony Bellew actually oh, yeah. considering taking Tony, on your cousin. Tony and Tyson. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just a big money fight. Look, Bellew's not a stupid man. He's a clever man. Big money. Couple of them big money fights, you know. Tyson's nearly twice the size of him, you know. Natural size, Tyson's a monster. Yeah, he's a Bellie's, massive, Bellie's massive. a big man, but you know he used to be a light heavyweight. I think even when Tyson fought Klitschko, 
Trich first started wearing platforms in the press conferences, didn't he? Yeah, to get a little extra games. Hype. yeah. Mind games. And, and, and everyone noticed that because when they got in the ring and they were actually face to face, there was no comparison. There was no comparison on yeah. size. Did you, did you go out to Germany to watch that fight? I never went, no, but it's one of my big regrets in, in life, really, yeah, not to go yeah. because when I got interviewed about the fight, I always said Tyson was going to win. Mm. You know, I had every belief he was going to win. Nobody ever seen the best of Tyson because Tyson only used to do what he had to do to win. You yeah. know, if he, fight, if he fought a bum, nine times out of ten, ten Tyson would fight crap. Yeah. But if, if you fight someone decent, decent look, he, he fought back then, it was, was terrible. And... He got in it and really had a really hard fight with him. Second time he fought, he knew he was a fight in a good man, so he stopped him, he chinned him. Mm. You know, it was just one of them things, but I think, uh, yeah, Tyson's on the comeback. He rules the world again. Tony Bellew wants the big money fights to re retire. You know, two or three big fights, he can retire, you know. Just cash out, kind of thing, really. Cash out. There's no money in. Being cruiserweight, heavyweight is where it needs to be.